are you going to make a tad that's already used a black ink blacker and darker to supposedly fix it like hmm What's up, Lex gang? It's your girl Lexi, and I am back with another, back, back with another video. Okay, y'all. So today's video is a little bit different. Um, I actually waited a little while, probably a little over a week, um, to decide on if I really wanted to talk about this because, first of all, I'm a grown woman. Second of all, I don't play about my money, my hard on money. I know I work for myself. I have my own business, so that's unacceptable nobody's going to make me feel that this frustration and filling scams isn't how i should feel like what kill yourself well no not that but hush your face because first of all like i said it's my money and i'm grown but yeah so people are trying to tell me that um basically i shouldn't be still feeling played or scams first of all i don't care if this was a year ago two years ago three years ago if i still felt a way about something that happened to me who was supposed to be i thought an associate or a friend or whatever then you can't tell me how to feel you can't until it happened to you then you can tell me how to feel but other than that no no you're not going to make excuses for this person and you're not going to make me feel like i'm in the wrong when I'm the one that was scammed. So, by this so far that I've said, you guys already know, and by the title of the video, the video, you guys already know that I was scammed by a tag two artist who I thought was somebody, you know, that I I could trust, somebody that I can continue to give my money to, somebody that I continue to let, you know, put things on my skin, on my body that will be there forever. So that's why, again, I'm not understanding why some people were saying that I can't be frustrated or upset about this when this is on my skin forever and my money was spent. So this story of this type two artist is going to take all the way back to, I believe, three or two years ago that I've been his client. Um, I one day randomly posted on Facebook asking the orlando city of florida um is there any good tech two artists with reasonable price and like i remember word from word i asked on that post is there any um tech two artists with reasonable pricing that's very good very skilled ah, ah, ah. right so a mutual friend of him and mine decided to comment under that post and tag him tech two artists so we're going to give the tech two artists a name because no, you thought you played me. You thought you got on and got down on me, ran down on me, ran off on a plug twice, plies, face, tail. Like that's what you thought. But no, you did not eat, sir. You did not eat. Um, I will get to what I was just about to say later on. I don't want to spoil it. But anyways, yeah. So, you know, the usual, the typical, I click on the um profile i go through the photos i go through you know videos i go through what other people in the orlando city has to say about him and his work and everything looks a-okay it looks so good i really actually enjoyed his work mind you this is something that i've been telling him the whole time i've been his client that i enjoyed his work and i loved his work until the unthinkable happens so anyways, yes, um, I ended up messaging him. I told him who sent me. I, I, I. He messaged back. Um, he asked me, um, you know, to send him some ideas or whatever I want. And he let me know when he's available and um, all of that. So the first time meeting him, first time leaking up, um, I was living at my older sister house at that time. So and that's another thing. But I'm gonna get to that in a second at that time and um yeah he you know showed up he did those tasks the first session the first time of meeting him everything went so well he was very you know talkative you know that's what i like i like a person that's gonna talk to me not just you know just be in serious work mode excuse me but yes so i like that he was talkative i like that he was um answering my questions because i did ask him of course like you're supposed to always no matter if you're getting a hood tat yeah 
or a professional tat, you always should ask the person how long they've been tattooing, how long they've been drawing, da da da, you know? So, um, yeah, he was answering all them questions, everything was going good, everything was going right. So, I decided to continue having him as just my tattoo artist. I cut off a different Florida guy um, who put some stuff on my skin as well, and I thought finally thought that I found the right legit type 2 artist who wasn't going to be on no trying to mix business with other extra shit and just you know excuse my language but yeah like I just wanted a person that was only strictly about you know perfecting his his um art and you know doing what he needs to do for his clients so the second time I would say it was probably like Three to six months later, I ended up getting a second session with him. But this time, my older sister, who house I was living in, her as well as her husband wanted tattoos from him too. See, I was giving him other customers. And then you turn around and do this to me. But yet, y'all telling me, oh, it's time to move on. It's time. Mind you, this just happened last Monday. And I just let this Monday pass. So that's why I said it's been a little bit over a week because today is now Wednesday. I gave it all these days. I text him everything, but I'm gonna get to that. So yeah, so um, this go around, my sister husband got tatted up, uh, I think a tat or two from him. And then uh, my sister got one tat from him, right? So everything's still going good. I spoke highly of him to them and everything. Even though my sister was not happy with her rose tat on her wrist. Um, she still, you know, got it on her body, of course. Like, There's nothing she could do about that. But anyways, yeah. So throughout these months and these weeks and the years of knowing him, everything has always went good, swell, well. A few times he did give me a discount on a couple things. A few times he did fix other texts that I felt needed to be fixed. Like for instance, he did two cover-ups for me. So do all the calculations, like all this bread and money I've been giving you out of the three to two years of being your customer, your client, and then you finesse me and play me. Okay. So now we're fast forward to 2023, a week ago. So it was supposed to be a butt cheek tattoo that I've been telling him since the fall of 2022 that I wanted and that I was going to get. Yes, I can admit I was always canceling. I was always switching what date and what month, but that's only because my bills I'm a single parent, I'm in online school, I have a business I started from the ground up, like, you know, I'm a human, I have things going on, right? Right. Okay, y'all, sorry about that, y'all, excuse that sound, I had some food in the oven and that was my timer going off, but yeah, so, I had real life, human, adult thing type stuff going on, so... You know, since we never had an issue, never had a problem, never had a falling out, never had a miscommunication, none of that. I thought that it would be no issue when we do finally link up to do this tat, right? Wrong. Okay. So, I text him about two days before he told me that he could do it Monday. His availability was Monday. So, I text him two days before that, which would be about Saturday. And I was just like, hey, um, do you still got the photo of the tiger face tat I wanted on my butt, um, you know, it's a cover up, um, this means very serious, this is a very serious tattoo for me, it means a lot to me, um, that's a different story time, but I will let you guys know right here, since I'm already talking about it, but yes, on my left butt cheek, I had a domestic violence slice wound from a domestic violence relationship, obviously, an ex of mine, um, sliced me with a razor on my butt cheek, yes, that really happened. And this tiger tattoo, since the tiger represents courage, strength, and moving on, and um, all of that type of stuff, I really wanted this tiger face tattoo to cover that domestic violence scar, which is what he knows since the fall 2022. I was even telling him that. Like, I just reminded him Saturday before the tech, you know, session. So, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, you know, this means a lot to me. Um, I want it looking exactly like the photo, of course. Like, he always did on everything else on my, on my body. 
and um yeah everything seemed good um he told me the price again um the reason why i didn't have the photo of it was because last month early may like i think may 4th or 5th um uh, my daughter accidentally reset my iphone by mistake so i didn't have that conversation those photos none of that with him but i did on on, on facebook messenger so anyways sorry <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so he's like, yeah, I got you. I could do it Monday. I have availability. You want uh, morning or afternoon or night? And I said, the morning's fine. You know, I work from home. I'm always here type stuff, you know? So anyways, um, yeah, so fast forward to Monday morning. Yes, I can admit my timer cut off a little. My timer basically went off later than it was supposed to. And I ended up waking up a little bit behind um he did show up on time we um scheduled for 8 a.m because i told him i'd be up 7 8 or 9 a.m and he chose 8 a.m so he did show up on time and i would say we didn't get started until 15 minutes later because i had you know cleaned up even though i know this is not an excuse i should have did this last night the night before but which is sunday night but um i had cleaned up you know around the apartment i had um cooked a quick breakfast for my mother and my daughter um, because, you know, take two sessions take a while. And, you know, when they woke up, I just wanted them to have some food, which is understandable. We're humans, we're adults. That's understandable, right? I guess not for him. This is why. From the moment I opened the door, he was a brand new person. Mind you, I just told you I've been this man client for three or two years straight. Gave him so much money for these tattoos. Never, not ever once did I ever try to get a free tat or anything up out of him. Any discount that was given to me was always because of him. So I just wanted to make that clear. Because when I posted this on my Snapchat, a lot of people had a lot of things to say that don't even know the situation or don't even know me or him. So hush your face, like I said. <laughs> and mind y'all, my channel is not a drama channel. The only reason why I do story times is because I'm a very talkative person and I have a lot of things that obviously, you know, has went on in my life, just like anybody else. Some is good, some is bad, some is sad. And like I mentioned in my description, my channel is my diary. So that's the only reason why you guys will be seeing him and there story times. So I do not want anybody to get the wrong idea thinking that I am a drama filled channel. No, I am not. I am not. And I just want you guys to understand that. But when it comes to, like I said, getting scammed, played, betrayed, it's nobody can't tell me how to feel about that. Sorry. But yes, fast forward back to what I was saying. The moment I opened my front door for him and he walked in my apartment, he was a total different person. He had a straight, like, dead look to his face. He wasn't talkative. He wasn't smiling. He wasn't happy at all. Mind you, he's the one that acts morning, day, or night, and I let him know I'm available the entire day. So, Papa, you didn't have to show up at 8 a.m. if you didn't want to. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. We're grown adults. Like, don't nobody got time for that. Anyways... So he come on in, um, I see the demeanor, I see he didn't say hey or nothing, so I'm like, you okay? He like, yeah, I'm just doing the sketch. You know how they got to do the sketch first on that little sheet, the transferring sheet, that they transfer to your skin? Yeah, so he's handling doing that, right? So in between of that, I'm, you know, waiting on him now because I now finished making the plates for my daughter and my mother. Um, the cleaning was already done before he walked in, but yeah, I'm just waiting on him now. So it's time to figure out where we're going to do my tat at because we usually do it in my sitting area, my dining area where my bar stool seats and bar stool tables at. But my sister is kind of, you know, broke that. So I had my office chair and I offered that to him, um, you know, to sit in as we figure out where I'm going to lay at because in order to get a butt tattoo, you have to lay on your belly. So, of course. We, imme we immediately came to the conclusion of me laying on my bed to get the tat, and he sat in my office chair by my bed and tattooed me, right? So we are in my room, and um, I'm just feeling and seeing the obvious. His energy was very cold and dark all of a sudden, and it was very like, 
like the energy I was getting was a money hungry energy. Like it wasn't the usual typical friendly friend comfortable vibe that he would usually give me when he's about to take my money and tattoo something on my skin. It was more like, oh, B, I'm just here to get this bread up off you and I'm ready to go. Like that's the vibe he gave, which was a red flag. I did say I was seeing it and noticing it, but I already paid your money at this point and there's nothing I could do at this point. We got to get this started. So he starts to tattoo. This man was going so hard and so deep with the tattoo gun on my butt cheek. Mind you, I'm not a um, biology or whatever class that was where they teach you about the anatomy of the body. But I do know we do have a bone in our butt cheek. But when it comes to tattooing, you can't tattoo the butt cheek like you think it's just a hard bone right there protecting it like no that's all meat and skin basically so i'm feeling that he's unusually super rough and hard on my skin all of a sudden so i spoke up and i said um ouch that hurts like you're hurting me same dead look he got on his face same cold dark energy out of nowhere as i'm expressing to him you're you're hurting me so after a while of letting him um, continue to tap, because I guess he finally hurt me after I said it like two or three times, so he's hurting me, and he started to lighten up. This point, he lightened up way too light. Like literally at this point, it felt like he was barely touching my skin on purpose. Like he just gliding lightly across it. Like, like what's wrong with you? What, what did I do to you? What? Like, I'm still confused, y'all, because what did I do to you to have you do this to me? Anyways, I lie to him and I tell him that I have to go pee. You know, the old trick of the book, old school trick. And, um, of course, I went to my bathroom and I checked that mirror. Tell me how when I checked the mirror, y'all. Like tears almost formed in my eyes all over again i could not believe how tiny how skinny and how horrible that tat looked you guys so i left out my bathroom and i said i don't think you're tracing this right like i don't think you're doing this right like what like like look at it so he lays me back down and he's assuring me that he just started from the bottom on up instead of, you know, the top all the way down. He started from the bottom on up. I don't know why. I guess that's how you have to do it when you're doing an animal phase. But yeah, so um, I trusted him even after seeing with my own eyes that that tat was not looking how it was supposed to look. But I still trusted him. I laid back down on my stomach and I let him finish. When the tat is done, he will usually tell me, you're good, you're done. He will usually take a bunch of photos. He will usually put all the spray stuff and all that. Like, he barely did the aftercare stuff. Because, it was like I said, it was all given rushed. Rushed and money hungry and dark, cold energy. It's all he was giving me. It was all that was surrounding him. And we never had a falling out. We never had a miscommunication. We never had a problem or issue. I brought my sister and my brother-in-law to get taxed at one point. So I'm confused. It's like, y'all, as to why did I deserve this from him? So he sprayed a tiny little bit, tiny little, put the little quick little, like literally like this, across the tat on my cheek. And then he covered it with the plastic, what's the name? And basically packed up to go. So I go back to the bathroom as he already zoomed up out of here. He literally packed up and skedaddled. And it's all adding up and making sense to why. He knew he played me, betrayed me, and he knew that was not the same tat. Like, see, I'm not 
an angry person, y'all. And I don't hold grudges and I don't hurt, hold hurt. But the fact that you are somebody that I trusted this long, this amount of years and gave so much bread to, and for you to do this to me out of the blue, out of nowhere, like, I just, I can't condone that. I don't understand that. So, yes, of course, I disputed and got my money back after texting him days after days explaining to him and i mean i was nice very very nice very very patient you guys telling this man i don't really like this is there a way that we can fix this is there a way that you can give me my money back or half my money back all that dude had the nerve to tell me and i'm gonna drop the receipts and stuff too at the end of the video he had the nerve to tell me all I got to do is shade it darker. All I got to do is add more black ink to fix it. Excuse me? I paid you for a tiger face tattoo. Putting all that blackness and all that darkness is going to turn it into a black panther. I'm going to be Wakanda forever around here. Like, yo, that's not what I paid for. So, no, that's not okay. So after that only message of him telling me he was going to shade it black and do the black ink, crickets, silent. I continued texting and talking to myself. This man did me so foul, y'all, that it's really frustrating of the point that people was telling me I can't feel this way when it's been shown to my freaking face. You came with an attitude. You came with a cold, dark demeanor. You came with a cold, dark energy aura everything you did everything so rough and hard out of nowhere to my skin you rushed the entire process packed up and skedaddled out of here and y'all are trying to tell me that i was not scammed betrayed and played like make it make sense make it make sense because it's not the math is not mathing my tiger tat is not tigering <laughs> like at all so yes this is why i needed to get the story out because i have a lot of people especially when i worked in retail before i quit and i started working for myself i had a lot of people young old all type of races all type of genders asking me when they see my test who i got it from and yet i was sending them to you sending all that bread all them clients all them customers to you and yet you turn around and do me like this but guess what? I'm a strong believer in karma. Very strong believer in karma. Very. Because you know this is wrong. You know it. The fact that you literally had another tech two friend of yours I never met and never heard of hit me up on my news feed or my Facebook on a post that was about you. And you had him trying to cover and lie for you and trying to make sense of this for you. To the point I even had to tell the fool. I said, first of all, I don't know you. This got nothing to do with you. And second of all, nobody's going to make excuses. This is not right. It's not right. But yes, since not being able to contact him and reach him, yes, I did call my bank and dispute that money. And I don't feel sorry. I don't. Just like how you thought you was going to continue ignoring me and clearly just flat out just shunned me and, and, and was cold to me and thought you was going to hold on to my money? No, that is not okay. That's called a scam. You scammed me. I paid you for a service that you did not complete correctly and you knew that. The tat that I received is nothing like the tat in that photo. And I'm about to show it to you guys right now because this is not the end of the story time. But I just wanted to tell you guys, I am so grateful and thankful for all the support. I love you guys. Thank y'all for being so patient with me. I know being a content creator is not easy. And some people, you know, might not understand that, but I'm just so grateful and thankful for all of you guys all of you guys thank you thank you so much y'all and like i said <laughs> this is not a drama channel a drama channel but i just really had to come and vent this out to y'all because that's not cool that's not right 
at all. His friend tried to say on my news feed, oh, you as an entrepreneur, you should understand. Understand what? I'm not gonna scam nobody and play somebody. Heck no. I take being an entrepreneur very serious. This is something dear to my heart that I've always wanted to do since a child. So why would I sit there and use that to scam and play people? That's not right. No business is going to prosper. No business is going to succeed in that way. So y'all can't sit here and tell me how to feel. Y'all can't sit here and tell me how to handle this. You can't. But with that being said, thank y'all, Lex Gang. Y'all will see, I will see y'all in my next video. And we are out. In the next clip, you guys are about to see the text message, the post on my Facebook feed that the friend tried to, you know, come to his rescue about. And then you guys will see the tat I received side by side with the tat that I was supposed to receive and the tat that I paid for. So, yes, we are out Lex Gay. And before I put the screenshots and the picture um, and also his profile account, um, I do want to say that he tried to tell me like I said, that he was going to fix it with more shading and more black ink to make me happy. But after those messages is when he went completely silent and there was crickets. Never heard another text or response from him all these days. So that's why I came to do this video because no, you're not going to get away with it. You're going to be exposed. That can save all the other people that I referenced to you that can save their money and save their skin for being played with because a person feels taking their money and doing a half-ass job. And then when you correct them on it and confront them about it, they say they're going to fix it to make you happy. If that's the case, why you didn't do it correctly in the first place? Why you didn't do the tat that I paid for in the first place for you to sit here and write in those messages that you were going to fix it to make me happy. Hmm. But yeah, that's all I wanted to add and say. And here's the pics, the screenshots, and yeah.